Hello, McWarriors! How is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tag, where we are bringing more mechs to the battlefield today. I've upgraded my Argo a little bit. We have another Leopard dropship now. That means we can bring more mechs. Also, I was checking the hiring hall and I found that Harpy is here. Harpy is actually pretty good. She is ex-military for the extra recoil and offensive push accuracy. She is commander and she is technician. Also, she has the ability to fly lambs. So I would say we're gonna... Ah, I wanted to hire her, but we need more berths. Okay, okay then. I think it is time to actually get the beta parts for 800,000. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It is so much money. And we have nine days. Nine days, guys. Um, Sure. You know what? I think... Do we change our bills a little bit? I think we will. Yeah, man, I want that. Let's go to the X6, because this is kind of like our... Our unloved child of the of the Bushwacker family right now. We have the ER Large Laser MRM situation. And I think we need to do better. So we're gonna drop the MRM. We're gonna drop the Large Laser. I think we're gonna just make it all the mediums in the world. And I'm gonna try to get one MMS in here. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't quite fly. We need... At, at the very least, we need a ton of ammo. One ton of ammo, right? Let's drop the heatsink. Get a ton of micro missile ammo. How many shots we got here? 300 should be good enough. Mm. Also, let's put these jump jets into the side torso so we have leg room for the for the ammunition. See, we are still running in a standard engine, but I don't have the money right now to put an XL into it. Running the risk uh, cockpit, the risk sensors, which are fine. Let me take a look if we have anything better. This is kind of little better. Tiny amounts of bits better. Fog of War always stays revealed around it. I mean, it's... It doesn't matter. It just does not matter. I'm not gonna change anything right now. This is fine. So, let's go ahead and build the Wacker. And this is the thing. We have six days of time right now because I want all the pilots ready. Yukiana, Chronic Toast, all of these guys, they need to be on the battlefield. Hello, Mr. Carlisle. Mm. You want one of my one of my my best pilots, my elite pilots? I don't want you to leave, my friend. We're gonna caution him against that. No lasting consequences. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is mine. You can do your Carlisle stuff anywhere, <laughs> somewhere else. All right. So one more day for Yukiana. And there we go. So we are ready to go. Almost ready to go. I want to take a quick look at the barracks still because I think Toast can... Yeah, can do a little bit better. Cannot. Terra Bird, not quite there. Bit more piloting would be nice, right? Bit more piloting. Oh, I think I'm gonna hold here. I think I'm gonna not upgrade anything. We're gonna keep our experience points in place. Now, the thing I want to do today is I want to play uh, a high tier mission for the Marix. And uh, by the way, can we can we ally already? Are we there? Cannot ally with a faction due to low or negative reputation. Wait, we're maxed. We're maxed out. We are honored. What is this? What is this madness? Why am I not able to ally? Uh, you guys in the comment section, help me out with that because I have never, I have never done that. I thought you just need to grind it to honor it and you're good. Maybe you gotta give it to like plus more, plus a hundred or something. Do we need more MRB uh, reputation here? I don't know. I just don't know. So if you can fill me in on that, that would be fantastic. But yes, I, I want more reputation for Marek, and we're gonna play the escort, which gives us amazing amounts of salvage and a good amount of money as well. And now we should be able to run five mechs in this squad, which I'm very, very happy about. We're on the Shadow Cat, my friend. Yes, I will put you on the cat again. Um, we're gonna swap a little bit of stuff around because you are a bandit with the crit chance on the missiles. Makes a lot of sense here. And you are focus fired on something with ballistic weapons. Makes also a lot of sense here. What is this, by the way? Cautious? Good to know. Good to see. Yeah, guys, I'm ready to go. Let's uh, get into our mission and see what we can do. Oh, it's nighttime. All right. Yeah, let's see what we can do here, guys. Um, yeah, we have a capture zone. It seems like we got a blocking force or some kind of support lands because we cannot really get close at all. Wait, can we go up here? 
I think that would be a great spot to drop. Oh, wait. Wait, that's possible? Uh, I think dropping right behind the spot is great. It's fantastic. And yes, we have some night vision on our guys, but oh, some of them don't. Hey, actually, there's no blocking force. We were just not allowed to drop where we wanted to. Interesting. So... Yeah, no first engagement. That means we only have to fight two lances. Which could mean that this is going to be one of these <clears throat> quick missions. Let's go, Toast. Can you jump in there? I hope this is already enough. Uh, the other guys move a little bit up front. As far as possible. And we are in the zone. All right, guys. The fun begins now. Let me see what we got. Pirate reinforcements. Like here? The funny thing is, I don't see anybody yet, but let's take a look at what we got. We got a mechanized ICV with two light autocannons and four medium lasers. And then we have double medium pulse LRM-10, SRM-2 on a Prowler, a prime mover with some machine guns and an SRM-6, and another prime mover with an LRM-5, two machine guns, two small lasers. It is uh, certainly something, but let me hold for a second. Where are these enemies that you're talking about? There we go. We have a Scotty. Scotty, be beautiful early uh, game flying unit. I love that thing. Quarantine. Ooh. Hero Wolverine. Let's go ahead and reserve that. I want them to come to me. Also, the music is missing. Why? Music should be here. Yeah, should be on. There it is. It is a quick sell Scotty, so the weapon systems in the thing are not the greatest, but in general, these things are actually quite good. Oh, there are two more units. Mockingbird. Missiles down already. Love it. And the Shadowhawk. 2H. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to be excited about. Standing by. Standing by. We're holding. We're completely holding. I want the Wolvi to come in. Standing by. And or the Shadowhawk. What's the Mockingbird like? He also didn't move, which means we can just take it out of the sky. Good stray shot on the mechanized ICV there, my friend. I hope you can see it's very, very dark in here, but um, yeah, we'll see. So, the Waka with the micro missiles certainly wants to go for hmm, the Wolvie. I will go for it. Hell yeah. So, we go fire and forget. Always, always, always. And we're gonna try to get some damage in here. Why the hell not? That's 40 missiles. Uh, damage is very spready, though. <laughs> um, Ultras. We use the ultras to yeah we'll try to just get the mockingbird out of the sky it should be a kill here it is not uh oh i'm taking it too lightly huh weird 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 the shadow cat is very fast it can go back or can come back relatively easily so you are taking the mockingbird now let's go maybe not Oh, that was a no visual situation. Yeah, yeah, the night. The night is dark and full of terrors. You gotta go for the quarantine. This is a, I would say, tactical approach going in with the EMP and a bit of heat. We tasered him. Didn't shut down, though. No. Okay. So, more people are coming. Oh, yeah. Distance from convoy. Let me see what we can do with our light auto cannons. Is there a chance to get the freaking Mockingbird down? There is. Beautiful. <laughs> the friendlies are going to get the kills, which is a bit of lower experience for us. But hey, it's fine. You're really good with your weapons to shoot into the sky. I'll take it. Should I tag beforehand? I should. Yeah, LPX lasers. Really good against flyers. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna just shoot Scotty. With whatever I have. SRM, machine guns, sure. Every single point of damage counts here. Alright, and then we got this SRM thing with an LRM-10 attached to it. Uh, by the way, I'm trying to be relatively fast with this mission today because um, we only have these two engagements and that means we can uh, probably play another mission right after this one. We certainly go with the kick attack. Let's go. 
<laughs> we missed. No. 80%. What was it? 80? Uh-huh. I mean, there's some missile damage coming in at the very least. Where's my, where's my combat lock? There we go. We got an XL engine crit. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Need to follow up on that, though. I think I want to kick him again, if that's possible. Uh, not from here. So, we just move. Zip. And shoot. Do I care about this Wolvie? Potentially. It's not a bad mech. It's a 55 toner again. But we have a good chunk of mechs already. So, I think we're just gonna just blast him with dead fire. Yeah, absolutely. Taser rifle. Why not? Not enough. Heat sink kit crit, gyro crit. Oh, he's only unsteady. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Hmm. Alright, if I mask it up, do I get there? I can get there. Alright then. <laughs> Alright, Wolvie. Get wrecked, get knocked at the very least. I don't want him to shoot properly, that's the thing. Okay. Not a back strike, sadly, but hey, he's on his shiny metal butt, which is already scraped by thousands of missiles. Okay, he's now bleeding. Six activations remaining. He's down to four out of five health. Alright. So, Scotty, what's your deal? Almost, almost dead. Very much damaged on the front already. He's not doing anything. Alright, that's good. Alright. I know I'm showing the back to the, the the Shadowhawk, but we are stealthed. I don't think that they're gonna hit us. Alright. So... The important thing is that the convoy gets moving. So therefore, we're just gonna push the road. We're just gonna hit the... Uh, hit the gas pedal and push it to the metal. What's coming now? The Shadowhawk. AC5. Another hit. Another stray shot, by the way. Okay. Was it? No, I think it was an actual correct hit. Sure. You take down the Scotty. Um, not with the Ultra, just the lasers. Oh, so close! All right, then. Let's see what the Wolverine is doing. It is not a bad mech, per se. Has a good chunk of hard points that makes it very, very versatile. The ballistic, the two energy... Two energy? Three energy? And the two missiles? Yeah, three energy. So it's one, two, three. That's what it has. Distance from convoy. Yeah, it's fine. All right, then. Armor piercing is the only ammo type we got here. Still not a kill. Machine guns, maybe? Is that enough? Let's go. No, it's not. We need to go in from the front once more. And this could be it. Of course. Of course they would get the experience. <laughs> All right, then. So. Yeah, here we are. What are we doing with this? I think it is, uh, it is time to go for another kick attack from behind. Cannot see anything because the camera decided to give us this beautiful shot of the fire. Alright, there we go. That's the end. Oh my god. The end of the... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Blasted him. Oh my god. Completely obliterated. Mask is... Not needed. Yeah, it would be good to get a bit closer, but I don't want to blow it up. It has a 10% fail chance. Let's not get it. Alright. SRM's not in range, but we can try to narc him. Whoop. That didn't work. Terror bird. This is a problem. Um, at some point in the game, the engagement range is shifted, shifts more to the long range because the mechs are less mobile, you know? There's not that, that front line that crashes into uh, each other that, that much anymore because the mechs are getting bigger, they're getting slower, and they are 
the, the fight happens at range a bit more. So our Kentaro will fall behind in performance quite a lot over time. There was, there was, a, there was a blue. Is there a blue? No blue? No? Alright. So we're gonna take purple. Obstructed line of sight means, funnily enough, less damage dealt. So they, there's a damage reduction attached to it, which is kind of weird. Uh, I think it should all only be a, a hit chance reduction, but whatever. Full LRM5 on the turret. One hit, four damage. I mean, sure. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get moving. I don't really care about those hits. Although this pilot is actually quite good. So, do we shoot our Ultra now? I would say the answer is yes. I, I can also shoot some rockets. Ah, man, I really wanted to make him unsteady. Hmm, didn't get it. Cool. Full LRM 10. Let's go. We need a little bit of stability damage, not a lot. SRM. Yeah, you go. You just go, my friend. Okay. So. Here we are. Gotta somehow get this guy down. And I think we're gonna try it again. No ultra auto cannon hit. Nothing. I know ordering would have been better if I used my shadow cat first and then the waka. But hey. So now he's unsteady and now he doesn't have evasion anymore and now we can probably hit him a bit better. Uh, we gotta get as close as possible. I'm gonna stay out of the forest so we have a better hit chance. Bolt on rockets, taser rifle. Sure. We tased him. We rocketed him. We got a shutdown. That taser is coming in clutch. It's not that we are in danger of getting killed or anything, but... Looking for the blue line, I don't get it. So we attack from here. Against the shutdown mech, I'm gonna take the leg. Maybe. Oh, ammo explosion. There goes the AC5 ammo. Okay, but hey, the hawk is down. The hawk is down. Let's go ahead and keep pushing, uh, pushing towards the front line. We got some heat problems here as well, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna jump. Bracing it up. And we're gonna push the convoy. Hey, one more round and I think we're already in the zone. Ah, come on. We go there. Good news is we are on the road, which gets us relatively far. Ah, this is a nice clump of uh, vehicles here, right? All right. So, can we get in there? Yes, we can. Perfect. That means we already know where the enemies are coming from. From the water side. Some of them, at the very least. Hold up. Is it? Is it four? Is it three? There's no other drop? No, it's just them. But the problem is that we are really far away now. Oh my god. Uh, let's go, Yukiana. You can do it. Kintaro as well. Uh, the Waka. Alright. Shadowcat. Could jump. You know what? I'm gonna use the mask to get a bit more speed out of this. Hey, that's pretty good. Zip. And we have this here, Waka, which is gonna help, hopefully. Can go there. I want you here on the high ground if possible. Oh, that's good. So we can use the two vehicles with the long range to actually support a little. All right, what do we have here? Looks like a crab and a centurion. Yes. Stygian sea dog. Stygians were really fast if I remember correctly. Let's hold. There's nothing that we can do here. These guys also have spawn protection, so we're gonna give them an opening before we counter attack. He comes the crab out of the water. <laughs> this is funny. It's just a crab 20. So what is it? Large laser, triple medium? Hmm. No hit chance, so no thank you. Yeah, you also just move. There's nothing we can really do here. You need to hold. You also need to hold. Stabilizing. Stabilizing. All right. The Stygian is running ATM-12 Pirate. And I think he's running Inferno ammo on all of these. 
Uh huh. He's actually hitting quite nicely. Good job. That was the harasser. Gotcha. I'm gonna go there. I know I'm exposing myself to damage that I don't necessarily need to take, but uh, let's try. Oh, it's double large, small, and medium. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this guy needs help. Him alone on the front line means a lot of return fire, possibly. All right. Damage minimal. Damage minimal. Um, yes. Let's move to Waka. Let's go, Yuki. I want my Kintaro in the fight. These SRMs are gonna do a lot of work against whatever is coming there. Uh, Hydra ammo. Mmm, yes. So Hydra LRM, probably Incendiary MRM, and then also Inferno SRM. Let's get moving. We're gonna try to hit what we can, which is the crab. Sure. If we deal four points of damage, or three in this instance, <laughs> I'd be happy. Alright. Um, mask on. Yeah, I keep it on. 10% chance to fail. We need to get there. We're fine. Terror bird. Let's go. Next round we are actually engaged. It's fantastic. And then our light... Oh, wait. <sighs> Cannot get there, right? No. Let's get up here. See what we can do. Okay. Next round. Coming in now. Ooh, yes. Problem is my hit chance. It's rather garbage. So we're gonna hold yet again. Le Fay. It's nothing to do but sprinting. Okay. <laughs> wow. Who is the convoy now? My mechs are. But it's really nice to have the additional mech on the battlefield. I can already feel the increase in power. Just having one more unit that can dump a bit of damage on the guy that is almost down. Just to bring him. Hmm. This is, I think this is a good spot, actually. Let's go and move there. Yeah, we have a hit chance. We started on the crab. Let's stay on the crab. Centurion is the better target. But let's, let's keep it real. Keep it focused. Take one down before the other. I do believe that the Centurion is the more dangerous target. Alright, here comes the Shadow Cat. 4%. Decent against the Stygian. He has a lot of armor, though. I'll stay on the crap. Hey, look at that. Something crit. Okay. So, you can actually fire as well. Engaging target. Being stable and all. Alright. You have nothing. You only have the SRMs. Stabilizing. Engaging oh my god. Yuki can do it. But the question is, which weapon can you fire? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna go and shoot the lasers. See if we can do anything here. Four damage. We destroyed the upper arm, which is a major accuracy debuff. That's good. That's good. Also, somebody is running... What? Wait, 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 wait. Somebody is running some ECM. I think it is the harasser, actually. It's this circle here. Next to my Waka circle. So we gotta take him out as well. He didn't move this round, though. Which is probably the opening that we want. Ugh, I hate it. Oh, mm, this is not good. Let's try to bring down the harasser. Actually? Sensors with searchlight on! This is really good in the dark! Oh, perfect. And we got him narked. Which means our missiles follow up and have a way higher hit chance as a result. I love it! Okay, okay, okay. This is helpful. That means we probably go for the harasser to take him down and get rid of his stealth and ECM and scrambling situation there. Here's the crab. Miss everything. Love it. Okay. This feels way better all of a sudden. Now that we have the chance to take him down. Cannot really go anywhere, so we're gonna go for an LRM blast. Engaging target. Can we? Eh, not quite. Stygian. 
Blame a P, ATMP. This guy has some crazy overheat opportunities. But he just drops Hydra in the in the drop zone, in the escort zone. Alright, that means nothing. That means absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna move around a bit. Ah, yeah, fire. It exists. Good. Now the autocannons. It's not the greatest hit chance in the world. This is just a tribute. We hit him anyway. And I think we stray shot somebody. No? We fine? We fine. Okay, cool. We need the angle on the harassa and we need it now. Let's go for it. This is an important shot. I'm gonna go all in. Amazing. So, one less blue circle for the enemies. Um... And that should open up so much accuracy for us. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all of that. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, we go down to the water side because I need to cool a bit as well. See, the guy didn't move. Therefore, I think it's a great idea to do it now. Can we take him? Oh, it looks like it. Perfect. One shot, one kill. This is how I like it. Great. So now we have to deal with a crab, which is half dead already. Did you lose a hip? Yes, that means his movement is impaired. That means his evasion is gonna go low. And then we also got the scent, who is now on me. There is an AC-20 on the battlefield, guys. It is crit, yes. It's dark in here, yes. We generate a lot of evasion, yes, but it still could find its target. Go Shadowcat. And we're gonna try to finish the crap. Another thing. We got the large laser destroyed. Great. Unsettled. Good. Uh, LRM5 on the crab as well. Engaging. Just because we can. Nothing happens here. And we have the other corporal who is just sitting there with his SRMs and machine guns. He's like, I want to help too. <laughs> Cannot move anymore, by the way. As soon as we are in the blue zone, they are stuck. Stabilizing. Stabilizing. All right. Come on, guys. I want to play another mission with these people out there on the internet right now. So let's go ahead and finish it. Huh. Out of range there, huh? Should I go dead fire? I think this is a standard shot. Yes, we attack the shield arm. I'm aware. Still good. Ooh, wait. I could go down here. Now I'm also locked into the blue zone, but this is a great way to get some shots out. Yeah, 60 damage, man. I'll take it. Same with you? Same with you. Sure. Let's get it going. Engaging target. Perfect. All right. Next. Micro missiles. Uh, we, we go over here. I know we're getting a little hot now. I think I'll shoot target lock. Just to manage the heat a little bit better. Upper leg, foot, and hip destroyed. Oh, that's massive, massive problems for him and his mobility. Which means I'm gonna shoot him again in the hopes that we drop the leg underneath him. Get him? Ammo explosion? Oh, there we go. Okay. See, the LRM-10 sits on the left side also and ammo with it. Which means that was a fantastic kill. Let's get in. Can we drop you as well? We got the leg! Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. All right then, Mr. Krabs. I'm sorry. No more mobility for you. Perfect knockdown. So, and then we got our Ultra Auto Cannon ready to fire, but we have no visuals. I'm gonna shoot once, just a snapshot, hoping that we don't jam or anything. Okay, Ultra 5s maybe? Two Ultra 5s and the streak. It is a okay. Cool, we hit the leg actually. Missiles, because we can. Uh, this time we go for head to maybe make him punch out, panic him a little, get a bleed going or something. 
You are stuck. You cannot do anything anymore. Stabilizing. You have an LRM. Yeah, it's just a 4%. Is it even worth the animation? It's probably not. No damage. No damage. Oh, no. All right. So, Crab standing up again. He has one leg missing and one leg open. Mm hmm. Cannot sprint anymore because of it, and his mobility is super diminished, so he has only one evasion. He is easy prey, is what I want to say here. Let's go and... Oh, get some cooling. Yes, into the water we go. So fire and forget. Blast him! That was the last of our shots. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot when using fire and forget that much. You actually grind through your ammo quite a lot. Do I want any of this? Crap shenanigans. It has very little interesting things, so I think I'm gonna blast it with dead fire because... Get out of here, crap. Actually, there was an argument for preserving the fusion core because I want the 250 rated one on my other Waka. Eh, maybe. And I think the crap exactly has that, if I am not mistaken. Could be even bigger? Crabs are weird little, little mechs. All right, here we go, guys. Into the salvage stage we go. What can we find here? There is a Shadowhawk, a Wolverine. There is a Centurion overall. I, th I think we need to go higher, especially now that we got the fifth mech on the battlefield. We can easily go for four Skull missions, correct? The mid game is a bit stretched now in the latest patch, which means that, um, yeah, the, the three to four Skulls are not really presenting you that many heavies. Mockingbird. High explosive bombs and the PPC. Basically no armor though. It's a 15 tonner. Scotty is again, it's a fine thing. It has actual armor for a VTOL. 115 on the side, 135 on the front is okay. But the weapons I'm not excited about. The laser AMS is good. But I'm not gonna take it. Alright, what else do we get? I said the laser AMS is good. It's very hot though. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna take it. There's another Angel ECM, which is fantastic. Standard fusion engine, Stealth X, Incendiary LRM, Hydra LRM. Oh boy. Is there anything good in here? Single heat sink cooling, MMLs. Oh my god, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. Ugh, I'll take the Angel then. Do I need an AC-20? Probably not. Single PPC. Oh my god, this is like real bad. I think the stealth armor is worth a bit, exactly. I could see myself taking a bit of Hydra ammo. Hydra is, in general, a good thing. Half a ton of dead fire is actually quite nice. It's a good combo piece. Something that you just load into your LRMs when somebody underruns your minimum distance. You're like, hey, take that. A half a ton of MRM ammo times two? It's weird. Do I take two MMLs? I think that's also a no. Oh my god, what, what is it that I'm taking? Pirate Flamer, show me the Pirate Flamer strength. 360 meters range, recoil, negative accuracy, one evasion, ignore, damage variation of 10, 25% extra damage against overheating targets. Uh, massive fall off though. It falls off to 10% of its starting value at long range. So it basically deals nothing in the end. Good against battle armor and protomax. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm not gonna take it. Dudes, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm completely baffled. You know, maybe I'll take the Scotty. You cannot, you cannot see the value, the estimated value anymore here. <laughs> yeah, I think Scotty is fine taking it and then selling it. All right, here we go. So we get a bunch of parts for the Mockingbird, three parts for the Scotty, Stygian tank is there. We have a Wolverine part. We get an AC-20, fine. I think I'll drop the flamer instantly. Uh, it's not worth it. 
Quicksell Laser AMS has some value. We have two MMLs now. Regular armor, single heat sinks, basic cockpit. <laughs> basic structure. Follow the leader. Oh my god. Do I sell the stealth armor? It's okay. It's solid. Solid stealth. There's nothing wrong with it. Alright, I keep it. I keep it. Oh boy. Alright then. Would I run the Scardi if I get another random part? If I just... Now that I kind of force picked it because there was nothing else, would I keep it around? Having a vehicle is better than having no vehicle, you know? That's the thing. That's my train of thoughts right now. And I said earlier, it is rather mobile. It has good defenses. The offense is rather meh. It's meh. It's, it's all right. There's nothing to be excited about. But it's better than nothing. So maybe I'm going to hold on to these parts. Let's actually check our vehicle bay. Maybe we can assemble something. There we go. Okay. Uh, we will cross another threshold of a month, which I will happily take here. But it might also be that we are skipping pilot a uh, planet to somewhere else. All right then. Just in case, I want to check if there are any parts. Tunnel rent. Yeah, we have some battle armor here. Let's go to the mech bay and check it out. Storage. So, this is what it looks like. There's a, just a lot of garbage. Let me take a look at Scardi. What is Scardi? Is it 25? I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Scardi VTOL. There it is. What if we sold it? 121,000 is good. I mean, that's 365. It's not bad. Karnov, it's not worth anything. I will never run a Karnov, I think. I'm gonna drop that thing immediately. We have a Vulture gunship with two Ultra 2. It's fine. Again, nothing to be super excited about, but it's just fine. A Warrior. Oh my god. Would I ever run a Warrior? No, too squishy. It's a flying grave. It's a flying coffin. Cargo truck is... This is bad. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not even worth looking at these things. So, yeah, we have a 1.7 million Siebel account right now. And a bit of bit of repairs to do. Nothing too crazy. So we're gonna hold here. Wanna see what other mission is coming. And we are sitting on a solid 1 million. Like, roughly 1 million. Yeah, 924,000. Okay. Um, into the command center we go. Just checking before I come back and wait for my fatigue to wear off. Ideally, there is a duel here, which we have, actually. It's for the government. Who are you? Terran Hegemony. Okay. Another escort. Three and a half in the jungle. I could take it. Ambush convoy. Ooh, ooh. Speaking of getting vehicles, I think this is it, my friends. I think this is absolutely it. Let's ambush a convoy and just get some vehicle parts. Okay, we got the beta pot. Um, that means we're gonna instantly go for training modules too. Getting more Mac Warrior uh, experience. And it also means we can acquire this pilot. Harpy. We need her. By the way, yes, Mirage is also here, but Mirage only has Cautious, nothing else. So we're gonna take you. For the potential VTOL pilot. Okay. So, that is out of the way now. We need two days for Toast to come back. One more day. There we go. And we can go in again. And yes, we will ambush that convoy. Oh, this is a better pick. You know, we're gonna go for the pirate... Wait. What's that? Huh. We're not, not maxed out yet. Do we have to be maxed out completely? My idea was to go for the pirates against Marek and then get our reputation back from the the Mareks again, you know, in the next mission. I think we can do that. A little bit of a hit is not too tragic. And I'm ready to go. Let's do it. In we go. So, we have the convoy's route, we have the denial zone, and I would say we're gonna drop right here on the street and see what we can do. Okay. 
figuring out where the enemies are, what the enemies are, and then finding a way around uh, them to just destroy all of them. All right, here we go. There's a yellow jacket. Oh boy, that's a scary one. Calliope? What are you? You're a medium mech. Interesting. All right. Actually, I shouldn't. Should I reserve? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're gonna jump. Whoopee. Oh, and that's everybody. Okay. What do we have here? A mash truck. Cool. Sleipnir with just a lot of SRM4s. A prowler. And a vedette. Seems manageable so far. I really want the damage reduction, so we go and brace in the forest. You cannot go... Actually... You want to be somewhat close to the enemy, so we go closer here. Let's... Huh. Thinking about Angel ECM right now, but let's go and brace. It's fine. Here's the Prowler. Here's the Waka. Yeah, I'll move down to cover and brace. It's fine. I actually have to take the stupid yellow jacket down, but he's stealthed. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. We move and brace. Very important. Okay. So we got our, our chameleon whackers here on the right side. And then our attack squad in the middle. Calliope, what are you running? A plasma rifle and an MML9. You are a 40 tonner. What I'm afraid of is, again, the jacket. Because it's running a streak MRM-30 and a NARC NAR launcher and an AGM missile rack as well as a barrage tag. Yeah. That. Still... I'll take the shot right now. That seems amazing. Let's get the tag to the front. And fire away. Oh. He's open. He's open. On which side? On the, uh -huh, the right side. Which means we need to uh -huh, run around here. Which is not really possible. If I get in there, by the way, I might get scrambled by the enemy's ECM. So let's see. Do we stealth ECM shield? Height difference. It's fine. We go with regular good old standard ammunition. It's our best hit chance. And also the rockets. Good. That thing down is so important. Oh boy. So, ECM down. Very dangerous flying unit down. And also a lot of firepower off the board. Let's keep going. What can we hit? Calliope? Good target. What are you running there? Is this one of these suspicious cargo guys? Oh man. Slapey has a good chunk of armor as well. Let's get the plasma out of the way. Good. Goody, goody, good. Plasma cannon is most likely on the right side, so we're gonna go attack him from here now. I know I'm exposing my poor, poor shadow cat. But somebody has to take it. Huh? Alright, energy down. Oh, wait. We destroyed the ammo. That is smart. Now we probably want to destroy him from the other side, so we can potentially pick the plasma cannon? Is that a thing that we want? It's not bad, because we have this Kentaro overheat opportunity. Hmm. So I did what I wanted, which is the plasma down. Let's the... Let's, let's keep the Calliope there? Melee 10. Yeah, I don't know about the mesh truck there. Ah, oh god. Is he running suspicious cargo or not? I don't know. I just don't know. Also, is the Calliope running kind of any, any melee stuff? Is he running on... Claws? Re retractable blades? Swords? Whatever. I don't know. He has 20 damage coming from these MMLs. Okay, then. Here's the mesh truck. Oh, I'm scared. I think I should take it down. Just in case. Cool. So the Prowler attacked my cat. I'm gonna prowl back. As soon as we have half of the convoy destroyed, there will be reinforcements. Probably. Oh, Vedette is running an autocannon 10. That's also a target that we should take out quickly. 
So, let's make our way towards victory. Schleipnir. These SRMs. Yeah. They certainly deal damage. Melee attack? I'd say yes. We go in with a kick with a 71% chance to hit. Let's go! Come on. <sighs> Could we kill? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Right then, right. Another kick. From here. Let's do it! And yes, I will take the plasma arm down. It's fine. I just want to get out of here. There's the knockdown. Is there a kill? Uh, there's not quite a kill. What are you running? Endo Ferro, double heat sink kit, compact gyro. Okay. Panic. Panic, panic, panic. So we take the slave near. Hopefully. There goes that. And I feel like now I don't want to directly kill these because my Shadow Cat is, uh, is not in a good spot. Not right now. So we want to attack the guys that are the, the convoy escorts and not the convoy itself. 45 armor damage. Ooh, might as well be none. The heat is a problem. So we don't shoot the lasers. Calliope down. So let's see what these guys are doing against my Shadow Cat, which is standing there in plain sight. Auto Cannon 10, here it comes. Miss. Oh, we got lucky. We got really lucky. There's the truck trying to escape. There's an Ignis. Where did the Ignis come from? I was missing this guy. Eh, there's a bit of heat on the cat now. And the Prowler, which is. Gonna hurt a little more. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're holding. Okay. Now's the time to actually go for kills. Hmm. Somebody has to deal with the mesh truck. Is it you? I think it actually is. So again, we go in with a kick. See what we can do. Got it on the front. Sadly, our auto cannon is completely, completely jammed right now, huh? Ooh, not even close. Pilot injured though. What could possibly go wrong? Another kick. Let's go. Right, we hit it this time. Good. Can we perhaps destroy that thing? Because it also wants to get to the evac zone. And I cannot have that. We also need to finish the mission. Reinforcements coming from below here now. Huron Warrior. This guy is running a Gauss rifle. Oh boy. And they're all in our backs. Okay. Oh. Game has become more difficult all of a sudden. Avalanche. Oh. Oh, another yellow jacket. Ooh, and a verbi. I think it is yellow jacket time today. So let's get some of these out. The vehicle flamers or the SRMs. Sorry, no. I need to get the vedette out of the way. This thing is nasty as hell. Uh, let's go for it. I don't want this autocannon tent to be around anymore. All right. Down it goes. Escorts down. Perfect. We also overheated him. Oh, like shut him down directly. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm? Eh. Mm. 
from behind. Let's go for the Prowler. Alright, and we got the other Whacker. Maybe I should have gone a bit closer, but let's go. One straight shot against ours. What's the back armor like? Come on. Yes, I see the red numbers, but it's not enough. Ha! Huh. Do we have more? No. That's it. For the moment. Man, I really hope that the reinforcements are not kicking our butts. Prowler's prowling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a side attack only. It's not a back strike. So Yuki Onna is in a dangerous scenario. Hmm. We just move back. Let's try to move back a little bit and build a solidified front towards the enemies. Hmm. Bit of stray shooting here. Okay. Terror bird. Let's go. Fire. Maybe I shouldn't have shot my pirate SRM because that thing can jam. But we got it. So. Now the fight against the reinforcements begins. This avalanche has way too many too many weapons. I gotta tell you. Verbi is running an autocannon 10 Kaliyama. But only I think 7 shots or so. It's not, not the greatest in terms of pro prolonged fighting. But 7 rounds is what he needs. I think the game will be over before round 13. Ouch. Um, that was the Huron Warrior with the Gauss and the large laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a slight problem, I would say. I want the Yellow Jacket to move in. Avalanche. Five damage. So you're running... LRMs, it seems. Or kind of MMLs, possibly. Clan LRMs and ATMs and clan lasers. Oh my god, man, I wanted vehicles. Why are you making it so complicated? <laughs> no. Let's go. I think I'm gonna try to attack him. Blam. 36 times 2. There's nothing we can really do here. Except for jumping and bracing. That's that's a good like setup turn for next round. Here it is. Oh, and we are we're putting ourselves in a nice conga line, which calls for stray shots. Oh my god. I shouldn't do it. Let's get into cover. Use our anti-flying LBX laser scenario. Shoot once. Okay. Uh, it's a bit. We wait. Actually, I will hold it completely here. Because I want to be able to uh, actually hit something. And we have short range weapons. These guys need to close in on us before we can do <gasps> anything. Don't destroy my Shadow Cat, please. That's what I'm talking about. I want Yuki Onna first. Actually, Terror Bird, if she could narc them, it would be so good. Nah, it's fine. Really feel like the Yellow Jacket should be my main target. Avalanche coming in. Now it starts to hurt. The ATMs are in range. Whoo, scary. Really scary. Good miss. I think we got hit in the head. No, we didn't. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Now, what's Verbi gonna do? Comes the auto cannon. Blah. Okay. And I think it was a rocket launcher, so the missile will not fire more than once. Yeah. So, in we go. I want to stay in cover. That's important. And we're going to just shoot the LBXs for the moment. Because they are the most reliable sources of damage that we got. We have him tagged. And he's unsettled. Which means higher hit chance for us in general. Somewhat like a left side twist. Maybe. 
also Vigilance and 8 Evasion. <laughs> it's another 8. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so now we need to make a decision. We gain 12% hit chance, but if we don't log on, we shoot no missile, not a single one of them. I think it's still fire and forget. Some of them might find their target. That's right. Yeah, I'll take it. Here comes the Waka. Also have the streaks for evasion ignore and a decent hit chance. I I'm gonna go for it. Yes, good. One Gauss rifle Rip off the board. Next is probably the Kali- sorry, not the Calliope, the Avalanche because we dealt some damage to it already. Oh yeah, look at this! Hey! Terra Bird is full on resolve, so we're gonna use that. Try to attach the Narc for a future round. And we did! Ooh. Ooh, I say. Oh, this is scary. Let's hope that the warrior is not gonna go for the cat. Hmm. Was it worth it? No. No, we're exposing our cat way too much. Okay, good miss. <laughs> At the very least, we got evasion. Terra Bird, come on there, get in there. Yes! Yes! Damage! I'm gonna go standard. Better hit chance overall. We destroyed a medium laser and a jump jet and a shoulder. Oh, and we got the direct shutdown thanks to the taser. The taser is doing such a fantastic work. I cannot stress enough how happy I am with that thing. Let's go for headshots with the ultra auto cannon and one LBX. I mean, that works, but we destroyed a lot of good stuff in there. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Take from the front, please. Try for another headshot. Oh, that's not good enough. There is a head hit. He's not bleeding. But he's about to be unconscious, which means a knockdown would incapacitate the pilot. How do we get that done? Without completely and utterly destroying the mech. Because I'm here for it. Awkward. We need to hit him in the head once. Mm. Okay, I'll try. I'll try without the missiles. Come on! Yeah. We hit him! He should be dead. Inca incapacitated? Unconscious? No? Oh, does it mean one? Oh, two out of five. Oh, it counts up, not down. Okay, in that case, we just need to end it. Yeah. Definitely. See, that's the thing. Irby only has like, again, seven shots or so, but these shots hurt. Get in there, Waka. Do I overheat? I'm gonna try to get that urban thing down. I mean, that's good enough, right? Let's jump down here, let's get some Vigilance, and I guess we go... How do we go? What do we do? Inferno? Fine. Take him down. Whatever. Alright guys, we have a very strong auto cannon and we have a very nasty um, Gauss rifle. So Shadowcat is trying to dodge the Gauss and just goes for Irby and then we're gonna see where we're going from here. Uh huh? Is this all out? It's too good not to take. Vigilance for support and initiative next round and then we go for you my friend. And now I'm splitting, but this hit chance is just so valuable on the Huron Warrior. A 
Amazing. I think we have it in the bag now. Now we just need to win the initiative. Okay. Hmm. Where's Irby? There he is. Seriously, I don't think we can take him down right now. So I I'd rather go over here to the warrior once more. Yes, I know, attacking him from the other side. But it is the better deal. How can I say no to that? See what Irby is gonna do. His autocannon is currently jammed, which is fantastic. So he's down to a medium laser. And now he's not moving that far anymore. That is exactly what we needed for a finisher. Okay. Means we might want to change target now. No. No, we don't. We stay on the warrior because that arm needs to go. We have enough initiative on the other guys to follow up on, on Irby. Alright. Got an engine crit. We got some armor damage. We have him unsteady. Oh, that's such a good weapon to go for Irby. I'm gonna go for the warrior. And I think I will drop everything we have. Uh, let's just make it vigilance because why not. Down he goes. Pilot incapacitated. Oh my god. There's gonna be so much good salvage on the board. This is not Inferno. This is all... What is it actually? EMP? No. No. Dead fire standard. I think I'm gonna go with standard ammunition here. This is really good. Hmm. This urban mech has way too much armor. I can tell you. Well, this is, I think, the best spot that we can have. Let's go for it. The ballistic is still empty or jammed or whatever, so we don't have to worry about it too much. We can just keep attacking this guy. He's almost naked. Almost the pants down. Hey, <laughs> another 25 damage. But now we got you, baby. Kaliyama unjammed. Okay, this is our spot now. Let's go and take him. We did it! We ambushed that convoy, and oh my god, are we gonna be in trouble in the loot section, because I have no idea what I'm gonna pick. I kinda want the yellow jacket. It's a good one. But I also kinda want to get the, the clan equipment, potentially the Huron warrior, or some Gauss rifles to go with the Wackers, I don't know. There's too much good stuff here. Honestly, what I don't like about my build on the Gorilla, gorilla whatever you want to call it, is um, the Ultra Auto Cannon 10 is too hard to manage for me right now. The recoil is a problem, the jam chance is a problem. So, I wonder if I should just replace it with a Gauss Rifle. You want Yellow Jacket? No. Refuse. Completely. No, 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 no. So we have 23 total picks. So this is the Warrior, Pharaoh and Endo, double heatsink, XL engine, 250 rated core, Gauss rifle. Double bin is gone, sadly. It would be a wonderful pick to get. Okay. One, two, three, four yellow jacket parts only. That doesn't sound right. There's a Gauss rifle. The wing-mounted narc, the rockets, tech barrage, a streak MRM-30. You pay a lot of way for the accuracy here. I don't think I'm gonna take it. Fusion core, ballistic accuracy. Mm. Yeah, I don't care. Stealth is fine. Armor piercing Gauss ammo. 15 damage directly to internals. Hmm. Mm. 15 is not, not exciting. So yeah, I see the yellow jacket part here, so we can potentially pick the whole thing. Uh, and yes, we have the options to either go for the Gauss one, or to go for the Streak MRM one. I need to think about it. I want to see if there's anything else. The Ignis? I don't care. We could also gamble hard. 
Like, real hard. Take the warrior. Because very good equipment here. And then... One, two, three, four. <sighs> yeah, but the random salvage is not great anymore. No, we would get very unlucky with this. So yes, I wanted a flyer. So, we have a flyer here. Let's take a look at this. Quickly compare these guys. We are six and nine hexes. Uh, I think both are the same in terms of mobility and armor. They only have a different weapon setup. Let me check this out here. 69, 100 armor to the front, 60 on the sides, 45 on the rear. Uh, the MRM one has 15 more armor plates all around. You know, the Gauss is nice and everything. However, what I do like is the wing mounted Narc. This thing is amazing. They have the same quirks. Vehicular stealth armor. Oh, wait. Wait a second. This thing is running regular armor and structure. There is no doubt. I'm, I'm going to take this vehicular stealth armor MRM thing. Because it also has the NARC, which is wonderful to generate more accuracy for the whole team. And uh, the streak launcher is also very, very accurate. And we have some AoE with the tech barrage as well. Uh, it has a quirk breaching shot. You too, right? So if we only fire one weapon system at an enemy, we ignore their cover and guarded states. This is fantastic. So we'll take the 59RN mostly. Oh, it's both the same. Wait, 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 wait. That's the Gauss one. Okay, so uh, we picked correctly. We're going to disassemble everything else. Click the button real quick. And let's confirm and get some good random salvage. So, Ignis, Sleipnir, Sleipnir, Verbi, Verbi, all the yellow jackets, uh, an ATM-3, cool, LRM-10, machine gun, small laser, SRM-4, vehicle flamer, <laughs> standard fire control system, hey, the double heat sinker, that's pretty good, that's a lot of money for us, I'm gonna instantly sell it, tracker sensor, eh, eh, it's fine, guys, that was amazing value, we have our vehicle that we wanted, and I think we already have a pilot to go with it as well, correct? Yeah, I think there was one person who was able to run VTOLs. But we're gonna figure that out in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.